Hello everybody, and I'm going to show you how to uh, make an animation with virtual dub. Yay! So that's not like fun. All right, so that's how how we do this. First, I find my virtual dub. Where did I put? I put it somewhere goofy like this. Why? I don't know. All right, now I'm gonna virtual dub so you can see what the hell's going on. All right. So first, I mean, get it on your screen. Here we go down. Now I'll fit on YouTube, right? So first step we're gonna do is you gotta have your animation done already. All your frames have to be by the same dimensions. So you go 640 by 480 or 640 by 360. That usually works for YouTube. You don't need it like a huge picture. You just need something that'll fit in a video frame. So first we'll go to File. And it says open video file, but we're not opening a video file, we are opening the first image in your image sequence. In this case, I have a folder with the animation of a turbocharger, and I open the first JPEG in the image sequence, which in this case is rendered by Carrera, but you could use photos, you can use hand drawn images, doesn't care. You can make your animation in MS Paint. That's how this works. But anyway, I just did it like a render in a Carrera. It's like a lot of frames but you open the very first frame in your sequence and boom it opens all the images in the sequence so here you go first one automatically gets all your frames so next step is to go to video and you want to set your compression actually oh yeah well in my case I like to use oh, XFID because that seems to work the best. It's a free codec. You can download it at xvid.org and then you just go looking for xvid codec and download from there. But we like to force the keyframes every 24 frames because it's like 24 frames per second. So you can force it. And I just leave it on the default settings. You can configure it too, but default works just fine for what we're doing here. And oh yeah, in video, if you want to get your uh, Compression to work, you usually gotta set full processing mode first. Audio, you can add sound and stuff. In this case, I don't have any audio for the video, so it's gonna be quiet. Once those are set, also under, oh, hold on a sec. Under video, you also wanna set your frame rate. In this case, it is 24 frames per second, so we'll set 24 right here. And the frame rate conversion, we want it to actually play at like 30 frames per second. It'll still interleave, so it'll play. The original animation has the original rate of 24 here. When we convert to 30 frames per second, the AVI will add frames such that the AVI itself plays at 30 frames per second, and that seems to put a slightly smoother result on the computer. Everything else, I don't really mess with it. I just know it works. Last step, but not least, you go File, Save as AVI. In this case, would be like Turbocharger, Turbocharger. And make sure to leave the extension on because I think, uh, yeah, it'll forget it otherwise your computer will get confused. But make sure you leave the extension down there. And now you save. Save. Does make processing your video. It's a little slower here because I'm running a pseudo on top. But this XVID will show your status. It's like, show me the hurdles. It shows you what it's doing. I'm not sure what that means, but yeah, it can be that. Check auto close window, it'll go ahead and sun. I'll do its thing. Anyhow, I'm going to cut it short, but basically it's a lot faster when you're not running another program on top of it because it's not hitting the hard drive so much. So, yeah, after this stage, you'll have your video and then you'll be able to upload it to YouTube. That easy. See? Virtual Dub's easy. Here we go.